Hey guys, even here, so it's two weeks out of Arnold Classic, we got a couple of very interesting bodybuilding updates and we're gonna start with a couple of videos and a couple of photos of Sean Clarida at this point. Now all of these photos and the videos you're gonna see are current and I wanna take a look at them with you guys and tell you, give you my opinion on what do I think Sean can do at the Arnold Classic and can he potentially win this show? I already mentioned in my previous videos that I want to talk about this topic, so let's go. Now, this photo was taken recently by this photographer that posted this photo. Uh, he says, time to shock the world. And honestly, guys, based on all of these photos and some videos you're going to see in a second, it really looks like Sean Clarida has a legit chance of actually shocking the world by winning the Arnold Classic and beating guys like Nick Walker, like Samson Dauda, like Andrew Jack, like William Bonnick, like Big Ramy. Honestly, guys, at this point, based on what I'm seeing, I wouldn't be too surprised if that happened because take a look at Sean Clarita. I mean, take a look at his freaking shoulders, how massive his shoulders are. And the main thing about him is his maturity. Here is another photo taken by the same photographer. So here you can see like this guy has incredible freaking insane genetics. Like look at the size of those arms and look at the, the vascularity on, on his arms and forearms and shoulders and like the size, the roundness, the bubbliness of the physique, the 3D. I mean, this is like, I wouldn't even say this is a small version of Phil Heath. I think this is like a small version of Ronnie Coleman, maybe even better, maybe even more gnarly, more impressive. But again, a really small, small version of these bodybuilders because Sean Clarida is five foot one. And this is what five foot one looks like standing next to, let's say normal, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit taller than average bodybuilders. Regan Grimes and Sergio Oliva, I think they are both six foot maybe a little bit less than that, but like they are not short bodybuilders, they are not like 5 foot 8, which would be like the average bodybuilder, professional open bodybuilder height, 5 foot 8, 5 foot 9, they are a little bit taller, but they are also not as short as for example Nick Walker, who is I believe 5 foot 6, so yeah, these guys are a little bit taller than an average bodybuilder, and this is what uh, Sean Clarita looks like standing next to them. Now, on this stage at the Arnold Classic, Sean Clarida is going to be facing, like, the biggest challenge, the biggest obstacle for him to surpass is going to be Nick Walker. Now, Nick Walker, again, is not super tall. He's, like, 5 foot 6, I believe. However, standing next to these guys, some of the taller guys, like Samson Dauda, Nick Walker doesn't seem to look small. Here you can see exactly what Nick Walker looks like standing next to Samson. And Samson is, I believe, a little bit taller than both Regan and Sergio. I think he's like six foot one or something like that. So as you can see, Nick Walker is probably even bigger. He doesn't get dwarfed. That's because Nick Walker is around 260 on stage. Yes, 260 at the height of five foot six or five foot seven. Sean Clarida is five foot one, but he's not like. I don't know, 240, 230, 220, or even 200, he's like 180, so he's, yeah, he's very complete, he's very round, he's very freaky, but he's not a big guy, he's not only short, but super big for his height, I mean, he does kind of look like it, but put him on the scale, and he's not really that big, he doesn't have as much muscle on his frame as much as Nick Walker does, for example. And we will see on the Arnold Classic stage what that looks like. In comparison, how much smaller is Sean Clarida really than these guys? I mean, they are much heavier than him, but will it look the same on stage? Or is his frame just that good that he actually can stand next to these guys? And some of them are like 100 pounds heavier than him, even more. Andrew Jack was actually over 190 on that stage. And he's going to be facing him as well. So imagine a call out. Sean Clarida between Samson Dauda and freaking Andrew Jack. Both at their best. They're going to completely dwarf Sean Clarida. And he's very, very complete. But again, he's very tiny. Based on Google, dwarfism is generally defined as an adult height of 4 foot 10. So, or less. Which is shorter than Sean Clarida, he's actually 5 foot 1, 
so he's a couple of inches taller than an actual dwarf and now this is not me trying to insult him or anything there is absolutely nothing wrong with being a dwarf and we all know that but really would IFBB want somebody to win like the second biggest show in the world and potentially over the years I mean the way the prize money is increasing potentially the biggest show in the world in the future would they want the best bodybuilder in the world to be somebody of that height I'm not trying to insult anybody I'm just speaking honestly I'm just speaking the truth that might affect Sean Clarida even though in the photos when he stands alone he looks very very complete in every sense of that word like he has muscle maturity he has completeness everything is freaking 3d and bubbly like look at the biceps triceps legs back let's not even talk about the back i mean he's a little bit narrow in the chest but that's the only tiny little flaw that he has everything else is is perfect absolutely perfect with his physique he's phenomenal the only problem the single problem out there is the height here is the video that he posted this is recent he said he's two weeks out of Iron classic here so look at this conditioning and combination with fullness like that this 3d this roundness this freak factor that he has it's absolutely insane look at how thick how wide how big his back is now I'm looking at these videos and these photos and I'm thinking this guy looks like the Arnold Classic winner. If he was, let's say, 3 inches taller, if he was 3 or 4 inches taller, I would say this guy wins this easily. Easily. That's what I would say. He looks that freaking impressive. But because of that height, I don't know if the judges will give it to him. And uh, maybe they will, maybe they don't care about his height, maybe when they see him up there on the stage, how complete, how impressive he is, they will be, they will be able to ignore how much the other guys are taller than him, and not just that, but like how much the average human being is taller than him, I mean, that's something that, that's a human factor, like the judges, even if they don't want to, I don't think they can ignore that. So we'll see, it's definitely going to be interesting, I mean, Shock Reader right now looks absolutely phenomenal, and again, if he was a tiny bit taller, I would have zero doubts that he was going to win this show, but like this, I'm not so sure, but it's definitely going to be interesting seeing him up there. Whatever you guys think, though, tell me down below in the comment section, but take a look at Shock Reader right now at two weeks out, like, look at this, I mean, this is just something to admire, something to be really impressed by. I mean, nobody has this kind of, com this combination of fullness, hardness, completeness, symmetry, balance, proportions, 3D, everything, everything. This guy is a, almost a full package. The only problem, again, a million times, is the height. And we'll see in two weeks how much will this affect his placement and where this guy is actually gonna place. All right, now let's move on to an update of Samson Dauda, who is one of the guys that will challenge Sean Clarida in my opinion beat him because yeah i mean samson is not as complete as sean like his shoulders as you can see are definitely not as big as sean clarida's shoulders samson's back is not on the level of sean clarida uh, samson's glutes are not as hard and as separated as dry as sean clarida's like completeness wise sean clarida is far far superior than Samson Dauda, but Samson has one huge advantage, and that is height. Samson is actually a freaking tall bodybuilder, and when he steps on stage, he looks like a freaking giant compared to these average, average height bodybuilders or below average, because again, Samson is around six foot, so like he is very, very tall. Now, the other thing about Samson is I'm pretty confident that right now he looks way more grainy, way harder, more conditioned than he ever was previously. On stage, off stage, you name it. I don't think he ever had this maturity, this hardness, this graininess, especially in the chest. I mean, you can see it everywhere else, in the obliques, in the, in the arms, in the shoulders. So I'm pretty confident that Samson is bringing, in fact, his best version up to date. Now, how good will that version be? Is he going to be able to beat these guys? I mean, there are like five, five other guys aside from Samson that are 
really hard to beat and any one of those five guys can win this show depending on how how well they peak, how good they actually look and it looks like everything is going really well for Samson Dauda. We also got this abs and thighs variation of Samson, this was posted by Milos Charger. Uh, in the caption he didn't really specify that this is recent, but in my previous video I mentioned Samson uh, in the update that Milos posted and I said it might be Milos playing uh, mind games, it might not be recent and Milos actually DM'd me and he was quite upset at me, he, he felt like it was disrespectful for me to assume that he's playing mind games. Uh, he says whatever he says something, he actually means it, he never lies on social media, so right here he didn't specify when this was taken, but it looks like it is recent, because Samson looks pretty conditioned here, I think more conditioned than ever, uh, in that side tricep and in that abs and thighs, I mean look at the side abs, look at how lean they are, how shredded they are, so he's bringing some serious conditioning. Are his glutes gonna be super shredded? Once again, as I said, from the back, for example, Sean Clarida is a far superior bodybuilder because of those glutes, the development and conditioning, and also the lats, overall the back. But, you know, just imagine how small Sean Clarida would be standing next to this guy right here that is an absolute giant. So I don't know which, which way is that gonna go, how, how big of a factor height really is, I guess we're gonna find out at the Arnold, this is not the Mr. Olympia, if it was Mr. Olympia, I'm pretty sure they wouldn't accept having somebody of that height as the Mr. Olympia, you know, as the best bodybuilder in the world, but Arnold Classic, it's very similar, but maybe it's definitely, Sean ha definitely has bigger chances here than he would at the Mr. Olympia, but looking at Samson right now, I mean, it's gonna be really tough beating him, no matter how, how complete or how tall or short you are, because Samson really looks good right now, I mean, look at the conditioning in the back, look at the hamstrings, yeah, the glutes are not the most separated ever, and yeah, there is two more weeks for him to get even leaner, but I don't really expect him to get super shredded, I mean, to get more shredded than this, maybe he's gonna get a little bit tighter, he's definitely gonna fill out and look fuller and rounder, but this is basically the conditioning you're gonna see, so with this conditioning, overall I think it's gonna be a very similar package to that of the Mr. Olympia, maybe with a little bit better conditioning, better maturity, what do you guys think, where he's gonna place, in my opinion, I have him in second, I don't know if Sean Clarida is gonna win, or Nick Walker is gonna win, or Andrew Jacked is gonna win, but I'm pretty sure Samson is gonna be in that second place, no matter who else wins. Well, if Sean Clarida wins, then maybe I can see Nick Walker in second and Samson in third, in that case. But I don't think Sean Clarida is gonna win, I think most likely we're gonna see Nick winning, Samson second, and then probably Andrew Jack or Sean Clarida, but I wouldn't be too surprised if Andrew Jack actually won, and then you had Samson, and then Nick, and then Sean Clarida, and then Bonek or, or Rami. We'll see, I'll, I'll make another uh, special uh, Arnold Classic prediction video in about a week from now, but yeah, tell me guys, what do you think down below in the comment section right now? Oh yeah, and we got an off-season update, another one of the runner-up at the Mr. Olympia, Derek Lansford, potentially future Mr. Olympia. Now this guy started his off-season, he says, guess my weight, and Hunter Rambo in the comment section says, it's more than last year. So that means he's already bigger than he was last year in the offseason. And I would agree with that. I would say that he looks like a proper open bodybuilder. Last year we weren't sure where he's gonna go. 212 or the open. We were like, if he really wanted to, if he tried really hard, he could probably squeeze into the 212. But most likely he will do the open. We weren't sure. We didn't know. Now he looks like somebody who is definitely staying in the open. And again, it's only been like two, two and a half months since the Mr. Olympia, and he already looks bigger than ever. And the other guys are dieting, then they're gonna be dieting for another two weeks. So while they're prepping for the Arnold Classic, this guy is growing. Once they're finished with the Arnold Classic, they're gonna start growing, but Derek is already at the point that he is bigger than he ever was. So this has to be at least a little bit of an advantage compared to the other guys that are chasing him 
for the Mr. Olympia. Some of those guys don't really need more muscle, don't really need to get bigger, they need more maturity, which they will get by competing more often, and Derek, I mean, sure, he could use more maturity, but there are some body parts that he needs to fix, that he needs to grow, so taking time off and doing this off-season is definitely, is probably gonna be a better strategy if his only goal is to win the Mr. Olympia. Anyways, right now he looks really big, and I'm sure he's not really blasting it right now, I think he's only about to. And when he starts really pushing, we're gonna know that, he's gonna get super freaky, I'm sure it's gonna be ridiculous. And potentially, if everything goes well for him, and some things don't go super well for Hadi, he will have a legit chance of actually defeating Hadi and winning that Mr. Olympia. I know how crazy it is, I mean, going from 212 to being the runner-up at the Open and then winning the Mr. Olympia next year, that will be a hell of a story, but I don't think that's impossible, I think that's very possible, I think that can happen. But you guys can tell me down below in the comment section what do you think about that or whichever part of this video, make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and for more bodybuilding videos like this, subscribe to my channel guys, thank you so much for watching, all the best and bye-bye.